Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing very well. It's late October 2023 and the third variant of the Mirage F1 is now available in DCS, the BE variant, which is a twin seat training variant. There are three main things I would like to look at in this video. First, we'll have a look at the BE variant, including the functions of multi-crew. Then we'll have a look at the gun pods, which are now available on all variants. And then the jammer, which is just available on the EE variant. So first, the BE variant controls, as far as we can tell, are the same for 99% as the CE and the EE with a couple of exceptions of additions which are probably of little consequence because they're fairly minor. To change between the seats yourself simply press on your keyboard one for the front seat or two for the rear seat which is the instructor's seat. In terms of cockpits the front seat is pretty much the same as the CE variant cockpit. This area is slightly different we've got a couple of bits added in for shared control but otherwise the same. The rear cockpit is very much different. The instrument panel here contains the same instruments as the front cockpits, but the ergonomics have changed. The radars moved here. Various instruments have moved to the right here. In terms of left console and right console, they consist of about 60% of the controls of the front seat, with the notable addition of this panel here to allow us to control and set up the AN ALE 40 countermeasure suite. And of course the instructor needs to see, so he has this, a HUD repeater fed from the front HUD cam. So we get to see what the front seat sees through his HUD. Next, let's look at the multi-crew element, which is very much about consent. Let's start here in Mission Editor. Click on our BE additional properties down the bottom here aircraft control priority which will be who has priority over the control is it the pilot in the front is it the instructor in the back ask always that means neither have priority or is it equally responsible which means both have priority let's stick on the default instructor right we're in a multiplayer server with simba hello simba Hello. First, I'm going to get in the BE in the new aircraft. I have to start as the front seat. Let me just get established, Simba. In we go. Unpause. I am going to just put my autopilot on. Pip, pip. Autopilot on. I have controller standard because I'm the only uh, human in here. Simba, um, please request to join. There he goes. Here he comes. Accept. Let me know when you're in and ready to go, Simba. I'm in. All right, viewers. Uh, easiest thing to do is press right control and enter slash return. The one above right control. You can see our controls down here. Um, look at that letter there, F. That means the front seat currently has control. If Simba wants to take control, bearing in mind that we set him up with him having priority, he can take it without me doing anything about it. He does that by pressing the J Juliet key. Simba, take control. You can see it's turned to R. Oh, he now has uh, control of it. He's going to get himself established. And you can see it all suddenly goes funny where it all suddenly switches to whatever controls he's got set after burner or whatever. Simba, when you're established, I'm going to try and take back control because I do not have priority in the mission editor. I will have to ask for it. So I'm going to press Juliet now. I've requested control. If Simba wants to give me control, which you should do, Simba, press F. I now have control. From Okay, that's pretty cool. Next, and this is a really interesting one. I've got to try and show you in the controls real quick, viewers. This here, combined controls, allows us both to fly. Because in the real aircraft, these sticks are linked via, you know, linkages and stuff. So, uh, like most trainer aircraft, non-fly-by-wire trainer aircraft, we can both have an influence on it. So let's do that. I'm going to press it now. Look at the uh, top right. You can see combined controls on. Now you can see my stick moving. Now you wiggle your stick, Simba. So we we now fight each other. The way it's, it describes it in the manual as if, so let's say, I Simba's got control. Now if I put inputs of more than 10% in an axis, then it will kind of switch over to me. Um, but it, it's kind of hard. you just got to have to play with it and feel for it. But it's cool. It's just like a real one. You can kind of fight for the stick, which is cool, and help influence uh, the other guy. Right, I'm going to turn combined controls off because myself and Simba have a habit of fighting each other. I have control. Let me trim myself out. I just need to get level and stable. I'm going to turn the autopilot back on if I can. All right, autopilot on the stable. Uh, right, next let's look at system priority, system consent. So if we look down here, we've got our system consent for different switches. They're too bright, so click on that. 
there. We have TACAN, radar, radio, and ILS. Simba has the same buttons in his cockpit. They are mutually exclusive, so only the front or the rear cockpit can have that particular one turned on. The seat that has that turned on is the one that has control. So, TACAN, I've currently got control of it. Simba, press your TACAN. No, Simba. I have control of the TACAN. Simba now has control of the TACAN. And take control of the radar, radio, and Hi. ILS. Ping. And I'm going to take them back, Simba. Pip, 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 pip. The guy with the highlighted uh, button has control of that system. Simba, just take radar back, just to prove it to the viewers, please. And then start wiggling the radar about and doing stuff so I can see. Uh, and that Simba, he has control now of the radar. I don't want Simba to have control. I'm going to take it back. And there's something else we can squabble about. Note that system consent is different to the flight control. The first thing we looked at by pressing the Juliet key, that was flight control. That's your stick and your rudder and whatnot. System consent is strictly the system as it's not linked to the uh, flight consent. One other quick note to say that dogfight mode can be controlled via the rear. So Simba currently has control. Uh, do dogfight mode, Simba and remove ping next viewers in the rear seat we've noticed three very important uh, switches going back to the idea of priority and consent so rear seat left console we've got this switch here which has a guarded cover on it if the switch is in the forward position then both the front and the rear cockpits can control the air brake if i lift the cover and move it back I've removed consent from the front cockpit and only the rear cockpit can control the air brake. Similar vein, we've got here the high lift devices on the wings. In the position it's shown in now with the guard down, the front cockpit has control of the high lift devices. If I lift it here and if I move it forward to AR, only the rear cockpit has control. I also have an emergency deploy mode there. Finally, engine emergency regulation. In the guarded position, front cockpit has control of it. Lift the cover, move to ARR. Rear now has control of it. And we also have an off for both cockpits mode. Next, the CC420 DEFA gun pods can be equipped on all three Mirage F1 variants on stations three, four and five. Each gun pod contains the DEFA 550-30mm revolver cannon. Use of the gun pods are linked to the internal cannon, so all you've got to do is buy the internal cannon as normal. So, master arm cover up, master arm on, press gun button. Hey presto, everything fires. In this case, the three gun pods and two internal cannon. That is a hells of a lot of firepower. In terms of symbology, we have just our usual mode, so air-to-air -air cannon, air-to-ground cannon, and our dogfight override. Uh, there's not much else to show other than to show that it is extremely powerful. Next, the Barracks ECM Jammer, currently only available on the EE variant, can be equipped on either Station 2 or Station 6 under Pod's Barracks ECM Pod. Once equipped and in the cockpit, the control panel is here. We have a master switch where the system can be off, it can be on, or it can be in a test mode. Once on, the fail light will show here until the system is warmed up, which can take a different amount of time depending on how cold the system is. So I'll speed time up. Light's gone off, the system is now warm and ready for use. We can test lights here. We can see whether the threat is coming from ahead of us here or aft us here, and we can see that it's ahead, which tallies up with our RWR, which shows that there is a Roland SAM ahead of us. With the system on and the fail light off, we just press this button here, and E is showing green. The system is jamming. We've tested it against various aircraft, and it does work. You can toggle the jamming on and off as you see fit. I hope that was useful, and bye-bye.